Hey guys, Mr. Mice is here. In this video, I'm going to talk about um, basically like the unchain rule, right? We did the chain rule before where we took derivatives of composite functions and we did the derivative of the whole thing times the derivative of the inside. Well, we're going to work backwards now and do, well, basically, uh, it's called kind of called the reverse chain rule where we're going to go and we're going to have some sort of composite function. We're going to go out and anti differentiate it. So, um, the first video I'm going to do, we're going to use the general power rule, which is informally called the reverse chain rule. And then the second video is a more formal, um, a more formal algorithm called U substitution. But I really encourage you to, to look at the first one here and um, think about what we're going to be doing with this reverse chain rule. So let's take a look at reverse chain rule. And remember, we did in lesson 3.3, 3, we did the chain rule for power functions where we took um, the derivative of the whole thing, used the power rule right here, and then took the derivative of the inside. So we're going to reverse the process when we integrate. And what we're going to need to do with that is we're going to need to have that, that u prime there so that we can use this part as my integration right the power rule and we just need this to kind of be our hook all right so once we have this hook this thing that goes together we're just going to ignore that because that's going to be this is going to be what allows us to use the power rule for integration okay so we need that hook in there so that we can figure out how to um take that part and do the anti-derivative anti-differentiation for that okay so we call it you know kind of called the hook on factor it's just that u prime that that needs to be there for us in, in order for us to do the uh, general power rule. So let's take a look at what I mean by that. Let's suppose we're going to differentiate 1 plus 5x to the fourth. So if we're going to differentiate that, we're going to use the chain rule, right? So we're going to take the derivative of 1 plus 5x to the fourth. All right, and the derivative of that is the, if we're going to put the 4 down here, right? And we're going to have 1 plus 5x. We're going to subtract 1, and then we're always going to multiply by the derivative inside, which is 5, okay? So if we're going to, so now if we're going to integrate, we're going to go backwards, okay? Notice that um, in order for me to, okay, so in order for me to get from here to here, I have to have a 5, and I have to have a 4, right, in order for me to get there. Really, I really need the 5 because that's the derivative of the inside. So to integrate this, 5 times 1 plus 5x cubed, what we have to think about is what's the derivative of the inside? All right, what's the derivative of 1 plus 5x? That's 5, which is on the outside right there. That's perfect. This is my hook. Whatever the derivative is of the inside needs to be present outside of that in order for me to do the antiderivative. Okay, and then I'm simply just going to do my power rule for antidifferentiation on that part right there. So we're going to go 1 plus 5x. That's just, we're going to leave the inside the same. We're going to add 1, which is 4. And we're going to divide by 4 because we added 1 and divide, right? And we're going to do plus c. All right, notice here the, the 5 isn't in my answer right here, right? The 5 isn't there. So the 5 is just a hook on that drops out that needs to be there for us to do the antiderivative, okay? All right. So um, you hooked on the derivative. And you have to unhook it when you do an example two. And let's take a look at a couple more examples here. Maybe these will kind of clear it up. If you're still a little confused, you'll see how it works out in the next few examples. Oh, there's the bell. That bell tells me I need to take off my sweatshirt. No, it doesn't. It's just the bell. I'm just getting warm in here. Okay, so let's take a look at these examples here. So we need to, oftentimes we don't have the hook, so we need to rewrite this guy. So if we, again, the first step we're going to do is look at the inside. What's the derivative of 3x minus 1? The derivative is 3. So this is my hook. Okay, I need this to be in here. So what I what am I going to do if I need it there, but it's not there? Well, if I need it there and it's not there, I'm going to put it there. All right, I'm going to put 3 there. But if I put 3 there, 
I have to multiply by one third out here so I can cancel those out and I just get one. So I'm just rewriting what I had by multiplying by one, but really I'm doing like, I, like I'm putting it in and canceling out, right? Which is, which is okay, we can do that. So now that I have my hook, I'm gonna go ahead and do the antiderivative of this part right here, right? So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna bring this guy down one third times three X minus one, and I'm gonna add one to the power divide by that plus c okay and that's my answer all right let's take a look at another one here okay so notice that what's the derivative the derivative of of the inside right here is 3t squared plus 2t oh look look at that that's all this part right here right the derivative of the inside here is right here so that's going to be our hook. Well, that's fabulous. So really what's going on is this is this is to the one power right here, right? Oops. I wouldn't want that one of this blue. It's to the one power. So I'm going to have t cubed plus t squared squared, cuz I'm going to add 1, divide by that plus c. And that's your answer. All right? The hook goes away. Let's take a look at number five. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this bad boy. I'm going to rewrite it as the integral 6x squared times 4x cubed minus 5 to the negative 1 half dx. Okay, so these should start to pop, like they should start popping out at you. Let's take uh, the derivative of the inside here is going to be 12x squared. Well, I have 6x squared, but I need 12x squared. So I'm going to have to multiply by 2 here. I'm going to have to multiply by 2 inside and multiply by half outside. So I'm going to rewrite this as 1 half and then 12x squared times 4x cubed minus 5 to the negative 1 half dx. And now... My 12x squared is my hook, right? So that just goes away. It's 12x squared dx, right? The whole thing. But the 12x squared is really what I needed to do my integration. So then I'm going to have 1 half times 4x cubed minus 5. I'm going to add 1 to negative 1 half and get 1 half. And then I'm going to divide by 1 half plus c. All right, so just want to wrap that up. It looks like this. 4x cubed minus 5 to the 1 half plus c. All right, hopefully that's making sense to you. Remember, we're just taking the derivative of the inside and looking to see if it's out there. Okay, so now this one, if we tried to do, if we tried to do this, we get 3y squared if we tried to do the derivative. But I don't have that as my hook. Now, one thing we cannot do, we cannot add or we cannot multiply, like we, we couldn't do this, which is what I know some of you are thinking. Oh, why don't I just do this? One over three y squared. I'll just multiply by three y squared and then divide by three y squared. We can't, we can't do that with variables, all right? We can't do it with variables. We can do it with constants, like one third and sixth and, and two and stuff, but we cannot do that um, that way. So we can't do a hook on in this case. So um, in this case, the, the best thing we can do is rewrite this by multiplying out y cubed plus 1 times y cubed plus 1 into a y to the 6 plus 2y cubed plus 1 using FOIL dy. And then once we do that, we can go ahead and integrate using just our regular power rule. Oops. 2 thirds. Oops. Well, I don't know why I put two-thirds, two-fourths, y to the fourth, which is one-half. So I'll just put one-half, plus y plus c. All right, so that is what we call reverse chain rule. All right, so you're looking for uh, the derivative of the inside, and then you're trying to find that as your hook, 
and sometimes you have to do some multiplication and division there to get that hook there and then it's just a simple uh, power rule general power rule okay all right guys we'll see you the next time for a more formal one when we cannot do the um reverse chain rule we're gonna have to use something else called u substitution so we'll get to that next bye